YouTube, what's up, man? This is Salary Cap Gameplay. And before it starts, before you start watching, before you lock in for this 10 minutes and really see this crazy gameplay I'll give you, if you hate runners, if you hate dive, if you hate stretch, if you hate defending these blind bums on Madden, please hit the like button. That's all I ask you because I hate them. And my man M Tweeds is the biggest bum in the world. Run, 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 run every play. And then on defense, 3-4, blitz everybody. I know you guys have played against that, and that is who I'm playing against right now, my man M. Tweeds. I am fresh back from DreamHack Anaheim, uh, the Madden tournament. So if you guys have never been to one of these events, one of these big Madden tournaments, you guys should definitely check it out. I had a blast. Uh, met a bunch of new people from the Madden community. I hung out with everybody. So if you're interested in that, man, there is a DreamHack in Dallas. I want to say it's in May, so just follow me on social media for more details about that dream hack and uh, when it's going to be live. Uh, it'll be a great time, but Bo Jackson gets about it. Sean Taylor able to tackle him. That's why I love having a speed, a safety, even against the run, man. It's underrated because you don't give up one play touchdowns, man. If I had a 94 speed safety right there, Bo Jackson probably gets up out of there. But Sean Taylor caught him and eventually held him to three points, man. That's huge. Uh, not giving up seven because the biggest defense against these runners, these scummy runners that we don't like, is the score points. And speaking of scoring points, Tyreek Hill is going to whoop, whoop, get up out of there somehow. Uh, Madden, please tell me how Deion Sanders catches me. We're the same speed right there. I felt like I was four yards in front of him. But, you know, they don't want me to be great. Torrey Hill over the middle. Like I said, he blitzes every single play. Every person. Right now I have Josh Cribbs. As you're going to see right here, Josh Cribbs is going to get busy. They say Josh Cribbs can't get off the press, but he fries to Davis right right there. Catches the ball. Scores a touchdown. Josh Cribbs. I have Josh Cribbs, Tyreek Hill, and Torrey Holt. Not the best ones. This is salary cap. That means you have to you know allocate where you want to put your best players. You can't have all the best players all over the field. Um, and I have Sean Taylor, uh, Taylor Mays, um... Marshawn Lattimore and my other corner, I believe this. Oh, Dion. Dion never comes off my field. He's really good budget and he's so fast and he's just glitched. Uh, but the rest of my defense isn't that great. I have a, a low, a low overall Fletcher Cox. Um, and here we go with a little play action. He actually passed. I ran commit and his 10 cap tight end Atkins is a 10 cap silver player held on to that pass when Sean Taylor blasted him. You know, they just cheat for runners, I promise. Here we go, Sean Taylor again, saving another play. Hit sticking this shit out of Bo Jackson. Like I said, um, I have Enforcer and Unfakeable on Sean Taylor. That's And that's my goal on run defense. I want to meet Bo Jackson, hopefully in the hole. But you saw that last play. I met him about 30 yards downfield. That's not the best place to meet the running back. Uh, but Jadavian Clowney meets him in the backfield right there. Holds him to another three. I'm feeling good. And I'm telling you, the best defense against these runners is offense, and I'm winning, and I'm up a possession, feeling good, man. Like I said, he's going to blitz all these linebackers every single play. So I just have to do a great job of getting some time, recognizing where to go. Um, I cannot roll out on his defense. His linebackers are too far away. I cannot chop block them. They're just going to contain. So I got to stay in the pocket like a man. You know, it's tough to do in this Madden, especially when someone's blitzing as many people. But when, when you can't chop block the contains or you can't double team the contains, it's hard to get out of the pocket. And, uh, but you got to use all your receivers right here. I try to try to use Kittle. I have a, a slow Kittle and a slow Phillip Lindsay as right here. I try to hit a curl route over here to Josh Cribbs, but Vic throws it in the dirt. It's crazy. They're better passing on the run than they are standing in the pocket with no pressure. It's just Madden 20. You just got to know that. But, you know, curl was wide open. Don't get it done. But I do go up four points. No thought in going for that, man. Like I said, against these runners, the more points you have on the board, the, the better you'll do. The, the, that's as simple as simple as that. You'll go Bo Jackson running through Fletcher Cox. He has the best offensive line possible. Run blocking abilities on his offensive line. Sean Taylor's gonna bless Bo Jackson again. Just the ball just won't come out. They really patched Enforcer. Uh, Enforcer was pretty much the biggest counter to these guys that just run every play. But it being patched like this is uh Really hurting run defense, at least the run defense I want to run, man. In the comments below, let me know what run defense you guys do. Because it is halftime now. I, uh, my run defense is pretty much designed to just get Sean Taylor to the football and, and blast the running back. That's it. But with the lack of fumbles from Enforcer on these running backs now, it's really... I, 
I don't know if I'm questioning it, but it's not as strong as it used to be, and it's a little tough to to get consistent stops and really punish these dudes for running the ball. But, like I said, best way to stop them is to score points. I have the ball right here. Dunball, Phillip Lindsay, like I said, 84 speed. Not going to get too much done, but you have to make the defense respect them. You know, it's a bad running back, but he still has legs. He still has feet. He's going to be able to make some plays. Torrey Hall right there. I throw the little curl route to him. I mean, he sent eight people at me that play. Sent eight people at me. I want to throw in the flat, but there was a flat zone. Once again, sends eight again. Throw to the flat, pick six. I never thought he would put a flat zone by itself back to back. Never thought he would do that. So just sending eight people at me right there, just trying to speed up my process a little bit. He put a flat zone there three plays in a row. I thought eventually he would man him up and leave my running back open. Uh, but he kept the flat zone, and I threw a pick. That was an example of anticipating rather than reacting. And that's the difference between running and passing. You make a mistake running, you just get one yard. You make a mistake passing, you throw a pick six. Simple as that. It's just one of the downsides of being a passer, but it's just so much fun to me trying to dissect the defense and make him pay from the pocket by calling the right plays, man. So for me, as the ball hits off my lineman's face, that's a little rough. Get to a fourth down. He goes with that flat zone again, but we catch him up top to Tyreek Hill. On fourth and seven, he puts a soft squad out there. Leave the running back on a flat. Boom, hit him up top so that gets me life, gets me back up four points. As you see in the video, this is the video of me playing live. You can watch me twitch.tv slash dub dot. You can watch that live as I kick the ball straight up in the air, talking to the chat, and Deion Sanders is going to make it do what it do. And it's no, my man DeMarco just doesn't have the feet to catch him. And Jackson doesn't have the feet either. So we give up a free touchdown to the runner. That, yeah, listen, there's nothing worse in competitive men than a free touchdown to the runner. It's rough, but it's okay. We're only down three. This is what you want. As a man player, it's okay. As long as you're one possession and you have the ball, you're fine. You know, you want to be able to score and be able to get busy. Uh, Tyreek Hill is going to get a little bit busy on his kickoff, but no, nah, we'll wrap him up. So we got to pay attention to that that flat zone on the left. We got to keep keep a, keep an eye on that, re remind myself of that, and try to get busy with Michael Vick right here. But P. Willie shoestring tackles him and puts the ball on the ground. If Vick gets coughed on, spit on, whatever it may be, he's going to put the ball on the ground. Phil Lindsay underneath just doesn't have the speed. But like I said, you got to make the defense respect him. You got to make the defense aware of him. Right there, he got the flat zone on the left again, so it takes his user all the way to the left. Abel hit the little curl route to Torrey Holt underneath. Sends eight people at me again. Trying to get away from Bosworth. Can actually throw the ball away with Michael Vick here. Sends seven underneath. I'm going to hit Kittle. Get a couple yards. The thing about getting a couple yards there, now I can run that same play again, essentially. But what I go to is just a little curl route over here to Torrey Holt. Curl route's really underutilized. If you guys are struggling against man coverage, go to practice mode. Throw that curl route. Almost throw it before he gets open. And right here, I... Playmaker, I'm up. He clicks on just scramble with Vic, and they won't let me slide. And, of course, Vic fumbles. He gets spit on. He fumbles. That's the game. Warren Sapp picks it up, and Michael Vic's able to track him down. Hold him to not scoring a touchdown, so we can still stay alive. We can't give up a touchdown here. That'll make it a two-score game. So, just got to hold him to three. That's what we're trying to do with Bo Jackson. Just hold him to three. And, of course, you know, the next play dive, and he gets out. I guess I had bad user there, got caught up in the wash. Give up a touchdown. We're down by 10. Oh, if you guys know anything about my Madden career, you know, being by, down by 10 is the perfect spot because this asshole is going to give up this streak again. It's going to happen. And he does with uh, Tyreek Hill. Marshawn Lattimore, my house, not going to catch Tyreek Hill. So right back where we were. Even though I went down 10, one play touchdown. And that's where, like, if you're a man and player on defense, once you go up 10 with three minutes left, you don't have to take those same chances. You can go ahead and just play cover four. You can play just really safe. And he continued to play like an, a, a blitz eight idiot. That's what these guys do, the blitz eight idiots. And he gives up a touchdown and let me right back in the game. Third and 10, just the man aligned. And actually, Devin White gets in and makes a huge tackle. So we're down by three. We're going to get the ball back here. Looking for that same play, and I got it, but he actually he did not put the flats on there, so Philip Lindsay was able, able to hit him for a nice 20-yard gain. Once again, underneath the Lindsay, just really slow. <laughs> you can see the difference when he has the ball and when Lattimore's trying to catch him. Throw the ball underneath here to Kittle. Right there, you saw he actually manned up the left receiver and pressed the hell out of him. 
Boom, run a little blast, stop and go on Taylor, but Dion's just too fast and wraps me up from behind. Uh, huge wrap up there. In route right there, Josh Cribs, boom. We get to the 30-yard line. We're going to try to run another little blast, get a little closer to field goal range. We are in field goal range. Everything's good. I call my timeout. Next play, we get the pass protection that we want, and we're going to take the shot post route over the top. Tyreek Hill, put it on the board, touchdown. As I get the phone call, perfect timing. Perfect timing. So I'm talking about ring them up top. <laughs> and that's how we take the lead, man. And the one thing about a runner, man, this is, and you guys have been here. This is the scariest, scariest part of Madden. When you go up points and the runners want to try to score on you, you just want, do I play too safe? I don't want to play too pussy. And right there, he gets out. He gets out, but he spins back inside. Probably should have just went out of bounds to save a timeout. But you know, he's brain dead. 15 seconds left. He has one timeout. I'm playing really safe right here. Really safe as Deion and Sean Taylor on him. Gets out of bounds. Please. That's all I'm saying. Please, Lord, don't let me give up a touchdown on one of these runs. Mm, there you go. There you go. Taylor May sits sticking him out of bounds. Last play of the game. Goes for another run. Anthony Barr gets off the block and ends the game. GG's in the chat, man. That's how you play a runner. The only way you can play a runner is to score. That's it. There you go. Eight yards passing. There you go. That's just that one play. But, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys hate runners as much as I do, hit the like button.